So before we get underway here with the hot temperature test, let's see what we've got uh, for setup. First of all, we're just about converging um, on the set point there of 1800. It's been soaking for a little while, so uh, you'll see when I open up the furnace. Don't worry, it's good and hot. Uh, but as far as the uh, test rig goes, I just got that regulator hung over the top of my crane there. Um, kind of the interesting thing is, just to show you too, is, is that this, uh, the, the lance itself, this is pretty much room temperature. And I can go all the way down here to the refractory and it's still, you know, it's, it's warm, but it's, it's not hot. And I can even touch the refractory itself. And about six or eight inches on the other side of that plug, about, heck, about six inches on the other side of that plug, it's sitting there at 1800 degrees and glowing red hot. So the refractory isn't um, obviously a very good conductor. The dense refractory is uh, a little bit more conductive than um, insulating refractory, but it's not a good conductor. So this is actually great because, you know, the, the external part of the lance is at room temperature and I can just hook up to it with a, a hose here. So there's no problem there. And then uh, I'll raise the lid here in a second and show you what I was staring at when I was first contemplating sticking that sucker in a, uh, a crucible, but uh, maybe I could just do it right here and just if I just pull the, the lid a little bit and do a little lift and yeah, you kind of get the idea that puppy's uh, literally red hot and glowing there. It almost is uh, translucent, so it's um, it's definitely ready for prime time here. So. Also, what I think I'm going to do, I'll set this back here so you all can get a view of it. It's not going to be, you know, that spectacular, hopefully. Um, hopefully it's going to be, oops, hopefully it's going to be really boring. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put um, 30 PSI to it um, quickly because I think that uh, actually when I start flowing the air through the lance, I think it's going to cool the lance pretty quickly. So um, I'm just going to slam the ham to it and just crank it up to 30 PSI and hopefully it'll be real boring and there won't be much to it. And uh, let's have a look. So, that on. Yeah, not a good idea to shut off the coil. Pressure connection made here and give it the air. So there's 30 PSI. I can hear the air hissing in there. Nothing spectacular going on. Um, yeah, like I said, hopefully that's uh, just dull and boring. We run her back up to 30 PSI. Yeah, there's 30, 35. Let's go to 35 PSI. Yep, I can hear my air humming really good in there. All right, well. Pretty encouraging, I would say. I don't know what it can take, but it can probably take a lot. So you want to have a look at what it looks like. So that's pretty much what I was staring at when I was thinking about sticking that into the crucible. But uh, yeah, as you can see here, pretty good. Pretty good temperature in there, and lance looks good. Looks good and hot. No problems so far. So, I don't know. I think it might be time for aluminum. 
What do you guys think? <laughs>